When students are first learning SOLIDWORKS, they create parts. When parts are brought into an assembly, the orientation of that part might not be the desired position. You can modify the orientation of any component in an assembly, and it's best to do that right from the beginning. Right-click on the fixed component in the Feature Manager and select Float. Underneath Move Component, select the drop-down arrow. Select Rotate Component. Now you can modify the position. By Delta XYZ, select the component to rotate, enter an angle, and then click Apply. The component rotates 90 degrees about the X axis. The component is still free to translate and rotate as indicated by a minus sign. Students need to recognize the F for fixed and the minus sign for underdefined. You can add plane relationships to mate the component and fix geometry. In this case, I will select the front plane and the back surface of my L bracket. Click Mate. Coincident is selected by default. Click OK. Select the top plane of the assembly. Select the inside face of the L bracket. You can use right-click Select Other to get the bottom face of the L bracket without rotating the component. Select Other toggles through different geometry in the path of the mouse. We need one more bait. Select the right plane, select the right surface. Coincident is selected by default. Click the green check mark. Click OK from the Mate Property Manager. There is no minus sign in front of the first component of the assembly. This indicates that the component will not translate or rotate and is referenced to three planes in the assembly.